Hi, glad you could join us. In this video series, I'm going to show you how to build your own quadcopter using the Pixhawk flight controller, a Turnigy 9X radio, and then later on in the series, we're going to connect the quadcopter to a ground station using the Mission Planner software. So to begin with, I've prepared a demo quadcopter frame, and by no means is this suitable for flying. Later on, what we'll do in the series is build an actual frame, transfer our components over onto that frame, and then take it for a test flight. But in order to show you how the components go together, uh, I've constructed this uh, demonstration frame. Now, as you can see, I've already mounted the battery on the back, and then I've also marked the front of the frame with yellow tape and arrows. That way we can position the flight controller uh, properly. The first component that we want to mount to our demo board in this build will be the Qbrain 4N1 ESC. ESC stands for Electronic Speed Control. And what this component does is receive the signal and control the speed of the motors. Now, one thing that you want to do is solder a female XTC60 connector uh, to the Q-Brain because when you get the Q-Brain, it only comes with these short little positive and negative wires and there isn't a connector uh, uh, attached. Now what I've done is I've taken about six to eight inch pieces of wire and I've spliced them in. And the reason I've done that is because if you solder this XT60 connector to these short little leads, then you're very limited as to how you can arrange uh, or position your components. So I found it a lot easier just to take a six to eight inch couple of pieces of wire, splice them in with a quick connects, and then solder my XT60 to that. That gives me a lot of versatility in positioning my components. Next, what we want to do when we're positioning our, our Q-Brain, let me just take this wire and tuck it out of our way for now. When we position our Q-Brain, we want to first double check that all of the wires from the Q-Brain will reach the wires of our motors. So let's just do that. Another thing that you want to do is if you notice the Q-Brain, and maybe now that I've got it all set up, maybe I'll bring that a little bit closer to the camera. The Q-Brain identifies each motor, M1, M4, M3, and M2. In addition to that, each motor has three wire leads and they're identified A, B, and C. So let's put that in position. Now our M1 motor, if you're at the front of the quadcopter, looking at the, at the front, the front facing you, our M1 and our M4, we want to be on your left hand side. That'll make this motor and this motor M1 and M4. So on the Q-Brain, we have the first three uh, sets of wires is M1 and then M4, M3, and M2. Now the M1 motor, we want to turn in a counterclockwise rotation so we're going to connect the A wire, let me just get the A wire going here, the A wire 
to the red wire of our M1 motor. We're going to connect our B wire to the yellow wire of our M1 motor. And we're going to connect the M1C on the Q brain to the black wire on our M1 motor. Take that and just tuck it over here. Now, we're going to connect the M4 motor, which is going to be the, if you're looking at the quadcopter frame from the front, it's going to be the left rear motor. We want that motor to turn in a clockwise rotation. So we're going to take the M4 A wire and connect it to the black wire on the M4 motor. We're going to take the B wire and connect it to the yellow wire on the M4 motor. And we're going to take the C wire and connect it to the red wire on the M4 motor. Now over here, the M3 motor, we want to turn in a, or rotate in a counterclockwise rotation. So we're going to take the M3 A wire from the ESC and we're going to connect it to the red wire on the M3 motor. We are going to take the B wire here and connect it to the yellow wire. And we are going to take the C wire and connect it to the black wire. If you visit our website, you'll see this written all down for you in detail and a close-up photograph of the top of the Q brain. So now for the M2 group of wires, we want our M2 motor to rotate in a clockwise direction. So I'm going to take the A wire, I'm going to connect it to the black wire on the M2 motor. I'm going to take the B wire, connect it to the yellow wire on the M2, and I'm going to take the C wire and I'm going to connect it to the red wire on the M2 motor. So now what, I'm, what I have is M1 will rotate in a counterclockwise. M3 will also rotate in a counterclockwise rotation. M2 will rotate in a clockwise rotation. And M4 will also rotate in a clockwise rotation. Now, the next thing that we want to do is connect our Pixhawk flight controller to the Q-Brain. So we're going to take the signal wires from the Q-Brain and we are going to mount them or connect them to the main out group of ports in this sequence. We're going to take the red wire and connect it to port number one on the Pixhawk. And when we make that connection, that red wire will be, is, there's only one wire in this connector, that red wire will be on the bottom row of pins on the Pixhawk because that bottom row it is the signal row. Then we're going to take the three wire, black, red, and white, connect it to port two with the white wire on the bottom. So the white wire will be our sig uh, is the signal wire and it needs to be on the bottom pin. 
Our next wire will be the orange wire, which will go into port 3. Again, with the wire connecting to the bottom pin. And our brown wire will go in port 4 with the wire connected to the bottom pin. So what we have is the red wire in port 1. We have the 3 wire in port 2 with the white wire on the bottom pin. We have the orange wire in port 3 and we have the brown wire in port 4 and the red, orange and brown again all connected to the bottom pins because the bottom row is the signal row. Then when we position the Pixhawk, you'll notice that there's a directional arrow which tells you that that directional arrow must point to the front of the quadcopter.